Hey now, I'm Mike Shaman, and in this tutorial video, we're gonna go through how to make a pop-up email opt-in with Divi Theme and Divi Supreme Pro. And stay tuned to the end, because I have a special offer for you on how you get some free layouts for the Divi Theme. So let's go ahead and get into the video right now. All right, so one of the things I'm gonna do now is I just imported my landing page here. You see it just has a video placeholder here with a button. So this will just apply to the button. It doesn't matter what the design is. It's just the really the button, okay? Okay, to go to the next page. But this link right here is gonna pop up and bring an uh, email form right here. All right, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like, the finished product. So now let's go ahead and recreate that. So I have our button here, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to a new page. So I'm just gonna go to add new, and this is with the Divi Supreme Pro, Pro plugin. All right, and I'm just gonna label this pop-up, okay? Pop-up. And then I'm gonna come over here to page layout, and I'm gonna go to no sidebar, and I'm gonna come over here to page attributes, and I'm gonna go to blank page. Then I'll go over here and go to publish. All right, once the page has loaded back up, I'm going to go to view page. All right, and then I'll go to enable visual builder. And from here, I'm just gonna to go to start building from scratch. And we'll just start out, see what we got. Okay, so we got a row, or we got a section, and then we got a row here. Okay, so I'm just gonna to go to insert row, and I'm gonna have a, I'm just gonna put the email opt-in. Okay, right there, and just wanna hit check. Now you can see this is the default email opt-in. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do a few different things here. So let's go ahead and hit the settings button there. We'll delete the text out of the editor. We'll delete the title out of the editor here. All right, put your call to action there for your button. And now you can see how it is. I'm just gonna go to design and layout. And I'm just gonna put last name. Actually, I'm gonna take this off in just a moment here. Actually, let's go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to go content email account. This is where you're going to select your provider. All right, for my email account provider, I use GetResponse. There's a 30-day free trial below if you want to go ahead and try them out. I have a lot of tutorial videos on them as well. All right, I'm just going to select my list here. All right. All right, I'm going to go to fields, and you can just toggle the first name or name on and off, okay? So uh, I want name and email there. And then let's go ahead and edit this um, button. So go ahead and click the button there. Go ahead and use custom styles for the button. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and jack up this text to about 38 or so. 38. Now let's go ahead and go 34. Okay, the text color is gonna be white. The button background is gonna be orange. Border width, I'm not gonna do any border on this one. Actually, maybe I'll do one pixel. And it's gonna be a little bit darker probably. Like a little grayish there we go okay go to check now let's go back into the settings again and go to design and button i check it out like that just so i can save it where it's at so i don't lose it i actually want to change this text again and i want to do the um i don't want that button show button icon nope all right for text i just like a bold button so i'm gonna go to ultra bold on my default text which is open sans button text shadow you just want a little one here okay and then let's go to scroll down the box shadow on the inside there, give it a little bit of depth, but bring the blur down a little bit here. All right, and now let's go ahead and go to content and background. Go ahead and hit the, um, actually let's go to the design button and background here, okay. Go ahead and hit the hover button right here, the arrow, and go ahead and hit hover. All right, now come down over here and choose the color for hover, which I like to just do a little bit lighter color, just to show somebody that, yeah, we know you're hovering over this button right here. Okay, go to check. Now we have that in place there too, okay? You also wanna to go to your settings here, go back in there, okay? And go to your link, okay, link. This is where you're going to place your link to the next page. So whatever your bridge page is between this uh, email opt-in and the affiliate offer, um, you're going to want to link to that page. So whatever the URL is, whatever the address is, put that link right there, okay? 
and again it's connected to your email account okay and let's go to the settings again and go to background and no background I don't want the background nope that's row settings I need to go to the email opt-in settings design excuse me content and background and let's go ahead and delete that uh, background there and now you see the fields the fields you need to add a border to when, whenever you delete that background I actually increase the text size a little bit too and then I do a border of one it's gonna be about the same color as the it's gonna be black and you should go in here and find it's gonna be a little bit like gray all right there it is check all right and that's your email opt-in right there and you can also go to design and spacing and then just zero out the top and the bottom margin the left and right okay just zero everything out and there's your email opt-in okay now what you want to do is you want to go to your settings here for your row and you want to go to background and just add a light gray background just so you can see it on this um, this white go to design and spacing and for the the padding is where it's going to go to um, let's go um, 32 for the top and the bottom and then 32 for the left and the right Okay, and actually, um, for the top and bottom margin, zero that out. Okay, just leave the left and right there as it, that's fine. Now you go to border and just put uh, again another light border around this. All right, and now let's go ahead and go to box shadow and just put a little bit of a box shadow behind it. very light all right and go to check okay so we have a cool little box there and that could be fine we'll, but we'll go ahead and just put um okay we don't want we'll just go to design and layout and go to form body on top form on bottom okay now go back to content and text and we'll just go to title and put um uh, let's see almost there and then put it enter your name and email in the box be below all right and now to edit this we'll just go to the little brush right here and click that i'm going to make this light and make the color black go ahead and center it and actually let's go ahead and make this uh let's see one two three one two three okay and let's make that a little bit bigger probably at least 18 okay and then let's go here let's go check go settings and here the title we'll do the same thing this one's just going to be semi bold and it's going to be black actually i think the other one was 4242 okay and this one's going to be uh, a little bit bigger than 18. 34. All right. I'm going to go to check. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this row settings and go to design and sizing. And I'm going to make the max width of the row 100%. Okay. And then this is going to be, it's going to, I just want to shorten this up a little bit for this. It's going to be 40 percent and go to check now let's go to this row setting and go to background and then add background color background is going to be black but it's going to be transparent so we're just going to bring this down like that go check go back to the row setting go to background make it white or just like a little off white okay and then for this row Go back to the section settings here actually and go to design and sizing. Make sure it's in the middle there. But let's go ahead and do minimum height um, 1000 pixels. Okay. And go to check. You can actually bring this down a little bit here. 
I'm just going to add that to this row. So go to row settings, design, and spacing. On the top margin, unlock that. Okay, on the top margin, we're just going to do 32 more spacings right there. Bring it down. Let's do um, 42. Okay, there we go. Go to check. Now let's go ahead and save this. All right, so one other thing we have to do for this is make it viewable on the mobile phone and on the um, tablet. So what you want to do is you want to go to your row settings here and you want to go design and sizing and under width, go ahead, roll over until you find the phone Then go ahead and roll over the phone right here and you want to go to 95. Okay. Go, go to the tablet, do the same thing. 95%, 95 gives us a little bit of spacing right here too on these sides. That's why I usually do 95. Okay. And there's one other thing I want to do. I'm just going to go to check. I want to make this button a little bit better for mobile phones. So I'm just going to go to the, the brush and let's go to button text size, roll over on the phone, click the phone again, and then let's go ahead and bring this text size down to probably about 24 or so on the mobile phone there. Okay. And just go to check. All right. And then on the tablet, tab looks fine. Phone looks fine. All right, let's go ahead and save that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to save this to our Divi library because that's how it's going to pull the pop-up. So let's go ahead and save this to our library. We're just going to pop-up. All right, and go save to library. And one thing I want to keep in mind is that when you're um, back in Divi Supreme Pro, make sure you have enabled Divi pop-up on your um, in the back end of in, Divi Supreme Pro. Okay, just go to save changes and we can actually just refresh our page now. All right, now let's go ahead and go to settings again. Go to advanced visibility. Use pop up. Pop out type layout and then pop up Divi library. And there's the one that we just added to the Divi library right there. Okay, trigger on uh, click and then close pop up. Okay, auto close no. And it says, oh, close pop up triggers outside pop up. Okay, or you can do the close button. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you do. All right, and then the exit animation, fade in animations. Okay, position you want in the center, absolute, full width, yes, I want full width. Show overlay no, because we kind of built the overlay into that uh, page already. Okay, show close button, yes. Uh, close button placement inside or outside. Let's do outside. Okay. Close on icon font size. I always just throw this one a little bit. Okay. And then the close button, just the X. Okay. Now if you can't see it, then that we can change the colors of that later. You can do that right here, but let's go ahead and go check. That's all the options we need. All right. Now let's go ahead and go to save. Let's go to exit visual builder. Now let's click that and there is our pop-up right there. So that is how you do the Divi theme with Divi Supreme pop-up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, making that pop-up with the Divi theme and Divi Supreme Pro. That's really one of my favorite Divi theme plugins that you can get is Divi Supreme Pro. And you can find that on the Divi Marketplace. It's right there. Go ahead, click the link below if you wanna go ahead and check that one out. If you got a lot of value out of this video, I'm sure you'll get a lot of value out of my other videos as well. I have a whole playlist of over 10 plus landing pages, sales pages with the Divi theme, and other WordPress plugins that will probably be effective for you to use with your website. So go ahead and check those out, and I'll see y'all on the next one.